in Hebrews chapter 11, starting in verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Notice faith is a substance, but it's also the substance. Amen? So faith is a substance. You got that? Faith is not a whim. It's not something wispy. It's something with substance. Okay? So faith is the substance of what? Things hoped for. Now, that means no hope, no faith. Hope is the basis of faith. You have to have a hope that something can happen or should be or whatever it is before you can have faith for that thing. Do you understand that? You have, it, faith is the substance of things hoped for. So faith causes the things hoped for to come into being in your life. Now, faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when people say, well, why do you believe in that? Well, uh, my faith is what proves it, right? I believe what the Bible says about it, and the fact that I believe it, that's the evidence I need. So faith is the evidence. It's substance, but it's evidence of things not seen. Substance of things hoped for, which are what? Not seen, right? But it is the evidence now of things not seen. Now, it says, for by it, by faith, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that, now get this, things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Now that, see, a lot of people just skip right over that. You have to realize, now get this, <clears throat> what it says is that things which are seen were not made of things which appear. So what is that saying? Let's break it down. Things which are seen were not made of things which are seen. Could we say that? Yeah. So things which are seen, made of faith, right, were not made of something that was seen. So now, let me, let me describe it this way. And see, the, the amazing thing is when this was written, they didn't know some of the science that we know today. But it says that the things what we, which we see were not made from things that are seen. That means you take a whole bunch of stuff that's not seen. And you take all the stuff that's not seen. And you heap it all together. And you can see it. So faith is a substance of things not seen. It's, it's a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So faith proves that there are things that are not seen. But when you, when you have faith, the things that are not seen can be gathered. And when it's all gathered together, it's, you're able to see it. Yeah. All right? Now, let me give you an example. And again, this is now we know this, and it's much easier. Matter of fact, if you really want to talk faith, you're going to have to talk science. Strangely enough, <laughs> uh, most people would think, uh, well, if you're going to talk science, science has nothing to do with faith. No, 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 let me tell you. There's two sides of this, okay? If you're going to believe the science that says that the earth and man evolved, okay? I don't know if you know it or not, but you've got to have a lot of faith for that, right? Uh, a whole lot of faith because there is absolutely no evidence of it whatsoever, okay? Scientifically, there is no evidence of evolution, none, right? It's all conjecture, and it's pieces with pieces missing. And the actual piece that's missing is the piece where it evolved. Now, think about that. Yeah. So, now, but if you're going to talk faith, okay? Now, faith understands, and especially uh, ever since uh, Annette Capps brought out her little book called Quantum Faith. Excellent, excellent book. And it's really small, easy to read, but it is the language of faith. If you're going to speak faith, you're going to talk quantum science, quantum faith. Now, <clears throat> what that means is this. Faith, okay, every, we know that everything in this world, okay, let's just stay with the earth at this point, <clears throat> is made up of 
<coughs> excuse me, <coughs> atomic particles. At and atomic particles are even made up of subatomic particles. Now, whenever you take these atomic particles, you can't see them with the naked eye. So they are unseen. But every one of us is made up of atomic particles or atoms. And yet, here we are, and we can see each other. So all of these unseen things can be seen when it is formed into something, right? And it takes faith. The Bible says that by faith, we understand that the worlds were framed. So as God spoke, it caused the atoms and the subatomic particles to come together in the shape of the words that he used. And when he did that, it took certain shapes. And then once he made the shape, then he described it in detail and it started to actually take that form. Now, the amazing thing is <clears throat> you can't see these uh, subatomic particles. And when, but the thing is, they're, because they are part of the atom. And yet, wherever you look, you'll see it. Right? And I know that sounds like a contradiction, but you can't see it. But if you take a, you know, electron microscope and you're looking at these things under this microscope, then wherever you look for these subatomic particles to be as part of the atom, wherever you look and expect it to be, that's where it shows up. Isn't that strange? Right? Now they, and again, this is part of quantum physics. Now. Which means that you are deciding where the thing is because that's where you look. Okay? Now, again, I, okay, for me, I love this stuff. Now, I'm, I, don't, I don't understand it, but I love it. All right? I like, I like looking at it because it proves God. Okay? Why? Because anywhere you look, you can find God. Amen. The Bible even talks about how the things of this earth show us God, and we are all without excuse if you don't believe in God. Because he says even nature shows you God. I mean, it's amazing. If you look at any part of the human body, especially the human eye, if you look at the human eye, you have to believe in God. There's no way, just, just, that's just one part, that there's no way a human eye could have evolved into being a human eye. It, it, it is physically impossible. But we're not talking physically. And if you want to talk impossible, we got to talk God. Why? Because impossible is where he starts. Amen. Amen. So now, 